Hey guys, I will be going live today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so we can discuss all this mess that's been going on. I've been down for a couple of weeks. I'm not, you know, feeling well. I'm back. And um, I look at these videos. Y'all know I look at these videos and I break down stuff that I know has not been talked about in the community. Um, right now, at this time, we know that the obsta is is desperate. Um, she, uh, she's she's giving me. She knows that Shelly's gone, and she needs to do whatever she needs to do to get attention. But if I seen a video that was really inappropriate, and a lot of people, you know, her fans, even some haters, um, they're gonna they're gonna act like they know her personally, and they're gonna say, oh, that was a storyline she was acting this out let me tell you something this girl was a sex worker in the street she ain't got no shame in her game okay used to show her medication when she used to get stds from men that she was um making money from who would ask her can they use unprotected and she would allow them to and they would burn her and then she would have to go to the hospital and get std medication and she would be showing y'all this medication as part of um her storyline not even the storyline is is no such thing as something being a storyline when it's the truth but anyways i was watching one of the videos trying to play catch up and noticed her and danny trying to be intimate on a live stream for i guess cash apps because the star of the show shelly is gone and to me, it, it, it's going to get worse. But I'm starting to get vibes of um, Danny is, is almost like a, a, a shell, a Michelle. She's, she's, given, she's given the Michelle vibes. It, it seems like uh, Queen Op talks to her any kind of way, she goes for it. I think if Queen Op could uh, make her eat dog food, put her in a dog cage, um uh put diapers on her make her eat dog food whatever i think she's really trying to work on getting danny to that point because danny doesn't act like she's the brightest bulb on the tree she's giving me all the the the, the signs and the vibes of michelle and how michelle used to allow queen art to treat her and the other day when I seen this video, I said, this is really inappropriate. Whether she was acting out that she was doing something um, intimate with Danny or she was doing it, it's inappropriate. But it's to the point when you get desperate as a, 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 a content creator, whatever you want to call, call her, people do anything. But... It just was really inappropriate. You know, she had Danny in the back telling Danny to smell this, do this. She even had Danny um, uh, show her boxes. It appeared to have a, you know, uh, one of them, I'll call it an apparatus in it, whatever they use to be intimate. It was just an inappropriate. It's to the point she will do anything and everything just to get those cash apps, just to get those, you know, the clout. I think it's more about clout, the attention, more than even the money. And it's really sad. And this is the main reason why she had to be honest, because she knew when she came back on to um social media, people would question, where's the baby at? The baby's not going to be in custody with Queen Op. The baby is going to be in custody allegedly with the father because queen op is not stable enough to take her own baby that she carried for nine months because of the little behaviors that she's been doing on a daily basis that people see from the outside i don't think that queen wanted this baby anyways that's why it was easy to bring danny into the equation and um, it was easy for them to do what they did to Michelle because 
queen was trying to make an excuse for why she couldn't be a mother. She didn't want to be a mother to begin with. It was probably a mistake that she got pregnant and she did everything and anything in order to um to be able to get rid of this baby so her and Danny can make money together so her and Danny can make money together and there's no baby in the equation but it's so sad because they got an open case they're co-defendants it's for doing inhumane treatment to somebody and here they are up here knowing the state's watching them doing this foolishness on live and she's pregnant further letting us know she's trying to do everything in her power so she doesn't have to be a mother she wants to be everything else she wants to be a um a social media sensation she wants to be famous but this is not the way to do it nobody's looking at you with respect doing stuff like this at all and Danny, something's got to be wrong with her because there's no way that you're going to talk to me and treat me the way that you treat me because you're queen op or you're the obster. There's no way. She's turning into Michelle without even realizing it. But see, Danny has a, a, a story to tell too. And you can tell that she's not the brightest bulb on the tree. She's a lower queen to do this because she thinks that this is her big break too. This gonna she gonna come up to. Only one's gonna come up is the obster. Because they're gonna say she how did she pull it off again? She went from Michelle being the um star of the show to now um Danny being the star of the show because now she's gonna make a fool out of herself in order to um get cash apps and um super chats for for the obster. And she ain't going to see none of the money. And, and, and Queen going to turn around and say, well, it's for bills and you live here and it's for food. You eat. All of that is going to play out the same way because Queen ain't trying to change. You can tell in her behavior on how she treats Danny. She's not trying to change. She's content. There's people in life that are content with being messed up. They don't, they're not even trying to change. She's not even trying to change. Not even for the betterment of her newborn. She made it flat out clear that that baby was going in to the custody of the father. So, so she can clown around and, and, and get herself jammed up doing foolishness with Danny. You know what I'm saying? Getting banned from social media sites because the algorithm the algorithms thinking that they're really even if they're faking it on on their platforms doing stuff they ain't got no business doing it's like this ain't gonna never come to an end and what makes it so sad is she got an audience that eggs are on they ain't got no love for her they're not laughing with her they're laughing at her and she don't get it and and she doesn't care and that's what the sad part is but we're going to discuss it further at 6 o'clock, um, at my 6, uh, six o'clock live. Hopefully y'all make it. Cause I've been sick for two weeks. It ain't like I just abandoned y'all, went on vacation, um, you know, took time off and nothing like that. I was sick. I was down two weeks. But we're going to discuss everything that I have peeped that maybe y'all didn't peep. But you know how I, I be looking behind the scenes and I be pulling the card, everything that I see that I know ain't being discussed on social media. So I'll see you at 6 p.m.